Okay, so I just have a really simple uh, setup with the Arduino, uh, the Uno board. Um, I just have a potentiometer. I have uh, the middle cord wire connected to A0, the analog in. I have one of the outside wires connected to ground and the other outside wire connected to 5 volts. So it uh, reads the value. I mean, if you have it down all the way, it will give it a zero. If it reads, if it's up all the way, it will give you a value of uh, 1,023. Uh, so, just real simple setup. Uh, if you need help with the Arduino, there are plenty of better, better videos that will go into more depth with it. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. I just wanted to show you the board. And uh, so that's the board. And um, I have uh, Fermata loaded on it. I guess I can show you how to do that really quick. Uh, and again, there are vi videos that go into more detail on that. So uh, if you want to load Fermata onto your board, just uh, Go sketchbook, oh wait, examples, Fermata, uh, standard Fermata. I can't remember if you have to download this library or not, but go ahead and you know just go online and Arduino Fermata will uh, give you whatever information you need if you Google those two terms. So now that we have Fermata loaded on the board, basically what Fermata does is uh, it allows us to access the board from processing really easily. Uh, so uh, now that it's on our board, I have uh, you know the code over here that I need. So I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff in. Uh, we need to import the library, um, the serial library, and then the Arduino, and this is just a, a global variable. It's saying we want something called Arduino in the class Arduino. We could rename this if we wanted to. Uh, this is important. Um, this line of code, I've been having trouble uh, getting this line of code to work in uh, in processing 2, you can see that I'm using processing 1.5.1, and that's because this doesn't give me any trouble in 1.5.1. So, we got an extra bracket in there. So, that sets up our Arduino, and um, uh, I've, I've grayed this out. This is the text that was there last time. And um, I guess we can, uh, and I grade that out just to try to uh, try to get this to run and see what happens, you know, free of this other stuff that's going to go on. So, um, and I'm copying, I just might as well copy this. Uh, so what this is doing is saying, um, look at our Arduino board, analog read what's at A0, so read the amount of electricity coming through um, our knob into A0 and uh, you know assign that a value if it's all the way down it's going to be zero. If it's all the way up, it's going to be uh, 1,023. And uh, assign that as an integer, and we're going to call it pot for potentiometer. So I'm going to say print lin pot just so we can get some immediate feedback of what's going on. Um, on our board, so I'm gonna run that. And uh, it's not gonna do anything until I click on on the screen. So 
and uh, whatever value it should come out right here so I'm gonna click there so right now I have it turned all the way up because we're getting 10,023 now I'm physically turning the knob that's that I showed you earlier and I'm turning it all the way down and so it's a zero now I turn it about midway well and this is somewhere in the middle 408 not quite in the middle 253 so I'm just physically turning the knob and whenever I click on the mouse it's going in okay so whenever I click on the mouse it's going into the potentiometer it's reading the value that's coming in through that analog signal it's assigning it a value between t zero and uh, a thousand and twenty three so I'm gonna click out of that oops I probably shouldn't have clicked out of that I probably should have uh, pressed stop here instead so yeah open yeah I should have I should, should have pressed stop up here so I don't want I what I want is instead of a value I want a value between 0 and 255 because that's in the RGB range you go from 0 to 255 in the red green blue and the color value so um, this is, might be a little confusing but if it is uh, go look on processing website and uh, I look up map on there and it'll explain what's going on here so I'm so with this code I'm saying take the value this value we know it's between 0 and 1023 so 0 to 1023 and we want to assign it instead to a z value between 0 and 255 so if I have it turned up all the way have my knob turned up all the way instead of going to this value uh, it will go up to this value but instead it will go map reads it back to 255. So let's uh, let's try it again. Uh, cannot convert from a float to an int. Okay, so let me see. Uh, okay, so I imagine that map is returning a float value instead of an integer value, and so. I'm going to go in and just do a cast on it. So this is uh, a pretty chunky bit of uh, chunky line, but just uh, read from the inside out. Say we're looking at the Arduino board. We're taking the value between these two values that it gives us, and then we're going to spit out a value um, between these two values, and that is going to that's what map is doing is giving us a value between 0 and 255 um, it's giving us a float value which a float just means a decimal like 2 point blah 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 uh, what we want is an integer we just want that too uh, so oops, sorry about that so let's try that this time see if that works Okay, I don't know what this the mismatch is, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so when I click on that, it's going 168. I'm going to physically turn the knob, click on that, 255. I'm physically turning the knob all the way down, 0. All the way up, and it's going back to uh, 255. So that's giving us the pot. Well, I'll just leave that in. Oops. Um, so let's go back into the code that we wrote before. 
that stop this. And, yeah, so that closed easily that time. So instead of having that blue integer just a random number like we did, we are going to have it be our pop. So with this Um, get null value off Arduino, and then the rest of this is uh, the code that we're sending to Photoshop. And let's uh. Remember that we have to save this into uh, export application. We have to uh, put it into applications. Where was our file? Uh, photo processing to Apple Script, processing to apps, and uh, What did I do wrong? Okay. Okay, so there's where it saved. Okay. So when I exported it, it exported it to this location, which is in our processing folder. And I'm just going to drag it in and replace it in uh, the place we had it before. So now I'm going to open it from that place and Hope that it works. Okay, so here it is. And let's uh, so there we have it as two fifty five. I'm going to physically turn the knob all the way down. I'm going to click on that on our processing, go back into Photoshop, and uh, and the value is zero. So it looks like uh, it looks like it worked. I'll uh, I'll make a little cleaner video to hopefully show it working and uh, to summarize what we did.